As a person who builds a lot in this game, it is really hard for me to refrain from using build cheats. There are so many little tricks or cheats for building in The Sims that I almost don't even realize I'm doing it when I use them. I realized this back when I did the official lots for Growing Together and we weren't allowed to use any cheats. No move objects, we couldn't even alt place things. When you hold alt, you can freely place and freely rotate items. And I don't even realize that I'm doing it. It like comes as second nature to me to alt place pretty much everything. So trying to do builds without the ability to do that was genuinely really hard for me because I would forget and just go to alt place things and have to stop myself. And it got me thinking that it might be kind of fun to do a build challenge where I can't use any cheats in The Sims 4. So things like move objects, debug, alt placing, even sizing up and down stuff is off limits today. And you'd think this wouldn't be that difficult. Like The Sims 4 didn't even have half these things when it first came out. A lot of people do no cheats builds every day. I am just so used to doing it that I almost don't know how not to. So I was trying to look for some reference photos of houses just to get an idea of what we could maybe build, especially because the landscaping has to be kind of simple. I genuinely don't know how to landscape without using move objects and like sizing things down because I always do that. So that's going to be hard for me. And I found this photo of this house. It's kind of simple on the exterior, but I think it's really pretty. So I think I might try to build something like this. I love this brick pathway and the bushes lining it. I just don't really know how it's gonna look in The Sims, so we'll see. So often things are like really beautiful in real life and they just don't translate well to the game. I guess we just get started then. I don't think I'm gonna use a budget or anything for this because I feel like there's no point. I also don't really know how big I want it to be. We have to be kind of careful about this because I'm not used to trying to place windows without move objects. Like I'm so accustomed to just putting windows wherever I want them. Luckily I picked a very simple shape to go for. Like overall the building is not that fancy. And then maybe we could put a chimney on the side. I think the house in the reference photo has some sort of like little carport or like patio or something over here, but maybe I'll make it into a sunroom for hours. And all of a sudden this lot is not big enough. I didn't realize that it was going to be so small. I might have to make the house skinnier depending on how the windows will be placed, but we shall see. So we'll have a nice big front door right here. The reference photo has some really pretty shuttered windows. We could probably do it like this. Now I'm kind of wondering if I could put like a trim or something around the roof. I don't think I want it to have an overhang, but I, oh no, <laughs> no. I was trying to look at the photo and think if we could make something fancier up here, but I don't really think that, um, yeah, I don't think that looks that good. Never mind. Just keep it simple. I want to use these cute gray shingles because I never use this swatch, but is that ugly? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think I could do gray brick stairs? That might be kind of nice. We'll have a pretty pathway. Okay, this part is coming along nicely, but this part is also easy. Oh my God. I don't know where I'm gonna put the walls because in either of these two tiles, it deletes either the door or the window. I am so not used to doing this without move objects. I don't even know where to put the floor plan. We might have to have the whole front of the house just be open. Okay, so here's kind of what I'm thinking. I've got the staircase right here. This section can be a little hallway to take you to a bathroom and a bedroom, maybe an office or something. And then here in this corner can be sort of like a dining room, dining nook. We'll have a big living room over here with a fireplace in front of this chimney. And then back here in this corner can be the kitchen. We'll have some cabinets kind of going along these walls. Obviously these things just being filler furniture to figure out the floor plan, but I think this could work. Oh, and then upstairs. I'm not really sure how to split this up because it's kind of an awkward shape, especially with the staircase being like right in the middle. We also can't put the walls where I want them because of the window situation. So I'm kind of struggling here. I guess I'll just have the back windows mirror the front one. This hallway is huge, but I don't really know how else to do it unless I had like a small bathroom or something but the windows. So it would have to be like that big. And that's not, this hallway is bizarre. I wonder if I could maybe get something like this on the back. I can acknowledge it's kind of ugly, but if I had it like this, could I rework the floor plan so that there's a bedroom? No. No, this is not better. This is not better. I don't know what to do. Other than moving the staircase, I genuinely don't know what to do about this. Because if the staircase was over a little bit farther, I feel like this room and the hallway make a little bit more sense. But that makes the kitchen tiny, so that's no good. I guess I could have the kitchen kind of extend out this way. It's fine. This is fine. It's better. Bigger bedroom and less random hallway space is probably better because it makes the upstairs floor plan make more sense. Okay, in the back, I'm kind of tempted to have a sliding glass door right here. Oh no. Oh no. No, that's not gonna work because the kitchen's gonna be too small. 
maybe I could put it over here. Can the only exit to the backyard be from the like study room or office or whatever it's gonna be? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh my God, this is so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know how to do the back. Can I just ignore it and then come back to it? I know that's bad. I really shouldn't do that, but I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to make it look like. Oh, these stairs are not gonna be green, by the way, I promise. I'm not gonna keep that. I love this pathway. So I think I'm gonna use that for the front. Maybe I'll scoot it back one so I can make it full width. Yeah, that's one of my favorite floor tiles in the whole game. I just think that looks really nice. I wonder what I can do with fences without move objects because I can maybe try and make a fake pergola or something up here. I'm trying to think about how we can do something to make the back of the house a little bit less symmetrical because it'll make the door situation make more sense. I don't even know if I can. Okay, I can. I was wondering, you never know about move objects. Like, is the column gonna work there? I hope so. And it does. I do think that it's okay if the back is kind of ugly because that happens in real life. The back of houses in real life are ugly all the time. If I could have this window right here, my life would be so much better. I'm serious. If this window could just go right there, I would be so happy. But no, it can't. Not with the doors here. Oh my god, should there be a pool? How beautiful would that be if we had a nice pool back here? Maybe I can use this hedge fence instead of landscaping because that way I don't need to like try and put bushes together. It actually looks kind of cute. Oh, good. Okay, I can't put that there. I think that it's intersecting with a column technically. This is what I mean. I want to alt place this so bad. Well, I guess it won't work anyway, but I just, if I alt placed it, I could get it a little bit closer to the wall, but I can't. All because someone had to go and decide to do a no cheats build challenge. Okay, what about that? This is very short. Like the flowers aren't very tall, but maybe I could put a little fence around them. You know what? This is, despite it being kind of weird on the back, coming together better than I thought it would, I'm still really unsure about what to do with this situation. Maybe I could swap it out for a regular window. I like the shutters is the problem because they add sort of some interest to the building. But if we had lane windows, then they'll actually fit there. And there's no shutters in the back on the downstairs, so maybe it's okay. No. Oh my god, I can't even put a fence there. Are you joking? I didn't know it was gonna be that bad. Oh no. That- I feel like that actually ruins everything. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but genuinely, that kind of ruins my entire plan. Should I just do columns then? This is a disaster. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I also always put columns in the corners of builds like this, but I can't because we can't fit it there. I think I'm gonna paint the whole house with this sort of light colored brick. And then maybe I'll do a slightly darker brick on the chimney. It looks pretty in the evening light, but it does look a little bit bland. There's just something about it. Maybe it does need to have a black roof so it matches the windows a little better or even just a slightly darker roof. I feel like I like the roof texture of the other one, but the color isn't dark enough. It makes the place almost look washed out. Oh my God, how are we gonna landscape this? I can't put anything. That's the closest I can put this bush to the wall. Okay, miraculously, I can fit lights next to these windows. I didn't think I I was gonna be able to, but it's letting me. So I'm gonna put them over here. Oh, I don't like where that's placing, but okay. <laughs> I'll put it far away, I guess. Yeah, I want that closer. The thing is, when I did those EA builds, I was allowed to use F5, which lets you place things on quarter tiles. But I think in this particular case for this build challenge, I feel like F5 is too cheaty. If you didn't know, if you press F5, it turns on quarter tile placement so you can place things like in slightly smaller increments. Again, super useful. But for these purposes, if we're not allowed to use like alt placing, I think that quarter tile placing is a little bit sneaky as well. I think I might end up using these bushes just because I can actually place them as close as I want and I can tile them so I can get as many as I want. Oh no. <laughs> Why, 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 why? Is that the column? Is it placing with the column? Is that the problem? Yeah, it is the column. Okay, good, perfect. That's just great. Well, I was gonna say, maybe I could line the front path with bushes, but it doesn't even look that good. This is one of those things I think where it looks good in real life, but it does not look good in The Sims like we talked about. Oh, I was gonna see about putting some of these cute little low-lying flowers, except um, they're not big enough. They don't fill the space enough and I can't tile things under each other, so never mind. Maybe not. I have these flowers. How do those look? Oh, that might actually end up being okay if I rotate them a little bit differently. I always try and do this, like rotate the flowers around a little bit so they don't look completely identical when they're next to each other. I think that's nice. And then once there's a little bit of terrain paint in there, it'll seem- Oh, maybe that's ugly. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Once we get a little bit of terrain paint, it's gonna be good. I just gotta do the terrain paint well. Maybe I'll use the dirt tile first and then add terrain paint as like an accent because we can kind of have it. Yeah, that helps make it look a lot more realistic. Okay, I'll get a mailbox. 
I'll put it right there, kind of on the pathway. You know what? This isn't so bad. I had to do some very specific, simple landscaping, but I, I think it worked out. Oh no, I forgot. I'm so used to doing bathrooms like this and like having quarter tile doors, because it does fit when you do it like that. But we said no quarter tiles, so that's perfect. I hate having doors in the corner. That's like my least favorite thing in the world. I just hate how it's kind of clipping into the edge. It really isn't that deep, like it doesn't matter that much. It just really, really bothers me, so I try to avoid doing it. Oh my god, I can't put a plant- I'm so used to decorating bathrooms in one way. Okay, no plant there. What can I fit decoration-wise? Probably a towel. I assume a hand towel as well. Okay, yeah, I don't think anything else is gonna work in here though. I think upstairs, I want to put a bathtub. I don't really know why I'm going for the cheapest bathroom items. I don't have an explanation for that. I think in my head this house was gonna be cheaper than it is, but then I put a giant pool, so. Oh no. I don't want the toilet paper that far away. Whatever. I've accepted my fate. I'm not gonna like how the bathrooms look. I can't even put the bath mat the way I want it to be. I want to like alt place the bath mat and I can't. Oh my god. I can't put anything where I want it to be. This is ridiculous. Okay, maybe I'll just do four chairs then. I got a table, I got a grill. I'm gonna put a telescope, why not? I also can't put these where I want them to be. I usually put them closer together, but I can't in this case. That's fine. We can have some cute plant pots. Do you think that these things from high school years will fit? Oh my god, they do. Oh, that helps actually. Maybe I can make them black because we have like none of the black downstairs. Or maybe the white's better actually. Yeah, no, that's that helps because it adds something to look at on the back of the house. Maybe I'll put a plant on the table as well to bring the green around. You know what? This actually isn't bad. It's not good either, but it's not bad. Let me put a light on both ends of the pool. Okay. Honestly, I bet the exterior is done. We just got to figure out the whole rest of the interior. Interior. See, this is the kind of thing that without even thinking about it, I would normally press 9 and raise the cabinet up one so that I could fit it here. I can't do that. Or I would maybe put like some open shelving right here. I can't really do that either because if I try and decorate these shelves, I can't put anything on them. I'm being dramatic because I, I can put some things on them. We can just only put stuff that slots to them, which isn't a lot of things. Is that really how the cups slot? I thought I might put some cups up here, but never mind. Oh, I can do these. Okay, that's better. Um... Well, <laughs> this is not beautiful, but it might be the best I can do without any cheats. I tried to put a bunch of things up here that seem kitchen cluttery. Oh, should I do two stacks of plates? Maybe I'll do it like that. And how about I leave the rest of the counters open so your sims can cook on them? Can I fit this here? Oh, I can. Okay, good. This cabinet is beautiful. That's like exactly what I wanted. Do you think it would be bad if I tried to layer this rug together a couple times? Because it's stripey. You can't tell that much. Oh, you know what you can tell is that the table doesn't fit in the middle of it though. <laughs> Oops. I feel like there's a lot of white in this house. And I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. I think it's okay. Oh my god, even this, I want to place this like in the middle of where these two are slotting. I want it to be right here, but I'm not allowed to use F5. That's so annoying. I don't think I like this challenge. <laughs> this is a dumb challenge. Oh, but somehow this plant fits there. The plant is clipping like through the wall and that you're saying that fits. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. I hate how that looks. I wish this fireplace was a little bit wider. Do you know what I mean? Because I want to have a TV above it, but I feel like this is too high and too big. This couch is so pretty. This is the couch that came with the Desert Lux kit, and it's one of my favorite ones in the whole game. I don't want to hear anything about how it's blue, okay? I know, I know, everything I make is blue, but otherwise it's going to be beige. So what's the alternative? Your pick, beige or blue. I'm going blue. Oh my god, I can't put the bookshelf here either. How does that make sense? Hold on. So I can put that one there, but this one, which is only slightly bigger, I cannot. Okay, sure. Right. Perfect. I'm gonna get a trash can, and then I kind of want to have a pet bowl as well. Before I forget, I need a trash can outside too. Why? I can't put it in the corner. Trash can just floating outside, apparently, because why not? I want to get a thermostat too. Annoyingly, we can't fit any plants on top of the mantle because the TV is there. I wanted to put some sort of decor, but I just can't. I can't even really put a coat rack by the door. Can I put anything by the door? I can do shoes, but that's as close as I can get them, and I don't really like that. I think the floor plan and the front door area is kind of the biggest flop of this challenge because I didn't really realize that I couldn't do walls or something to make a proper entrance. I just want to have something here to make the entrance seem more formal and I can't. With the curtains here, I can't even really- I could put a table here below the curtains, but I don't love how it clips. 
So I might just leave that. I want to make this room down here into an office. I love the idea of a full wall of books in here. And I was going to put a desk in the middle, but I guess now that I'm thinking about it, I hope that it fits there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I think that's really pretty. Maybe I'll try and throw some extra skill stuff in here, like this plant. Oh my god, even the paintings? I would usually all place this to have it centered between the door and the wall. I can't. I have to put it in these like random spots. Whatever. Just put it, put it in the random spot. So I think the whole first floor is finished. On the second floor, I want to have a primary bedroom and a toddler bedroom. And then I guess just the hallway is going to probably be quite plain. I love these big curtains we've been using. Sometimes I want to have a thermostat on both floors just because it's easier for me to find it when I'm playing. So maybe I'll put one there too. Oh, I can have a window there. Maybe I'll get an extra one then. Oh, that's kind of nice. How about this? Instead of a toddler room, let's do a nursery for an infant. I can put a little rocking chair in the corner. Although, um, I don't know if I can fit much else if I do that. This is the problem with doing these no cheat builds. I literally don't know what else to put in here. Okay, this might work. I can put like a book shelf there next to the rocking chair. What? Does that count as intersecting the crib? Are you kidding? I can't use that there, but I can put things on the ceiling. Okay, right. Perfect. I put these cute little things on the wall over here so it kind of matches the rug. And maybe I could get a giant teddy bear or something. Are you serious? Oh, see, this is why I want to alt play stuff so bad. It's fine. This will be fine. This room can be done. We only have one room left to do. So here's kind of what I'm thinking so far for the bedroom. I've got the bed, a couple nightstands. I put a dresser and a rocking chair. I think I'll probably get some lamps on these nightstands. I love this painting, so I'll put that there above them. And then I didn't really think about the other half of the room. <laughs> so maybe in this corner, what if they're like an artist? Maybe they have an easel. We have the cute canvas clutter too. Oh, okay. Hold on, we have to be careful about like how we place this. <laughs> so they can have the easel and the canvas clutter. I don't know if I can fit anything else next to it very easily. Maybe I'll just get some curtains. I always have a hard time doing builds like this because I feel like it's not finished. Like I just finished the build, I furnished all the rooms, but it feels like it's not done because I couldn't like put as much clutter or decor as I usually would. But you know what, all things considered for a no cheats build, I feel like I managed pretty well. I think I really struggled with the floor plan, which surprised me, but I didn't really consider how the windows would affect my ability to place the walls. But in the end, I think the floor plan turned out pretty well. I was just having a hard time in the beginning, and I wish that there was more of a proper entrance, but otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not the worst build, it's not even bad. I just feel like it could be a little bit better if we could alt place a few things, maybe use move objects to move a painting or two. Little things, little things can be improved with cheats. But overall, it's pretty good. I think on that note though, I'm probably gonna end this video right here. I'll stick this on the gallery for you in case you wanna download it. It's 73,000 simoleons and only two bedrooms. That is not good. Um. Anyway, so I'm gonna go. Sorry about my excessive sim spending. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I make a ton of stuff like this here on YouTube, so feel free to subscribe. And I also build a lot over on my Twitch channel. My name's just Lil Simsy on Twitch, so I can link my streams down below for you too. Please come follow me there. I think we have a lot of fun. And on that note, I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh, and I'm back from VidCon, by the way. I had a very busy, very stressful week, but I have returned. It was really fun, but it's also good to be home.